today's bottling day. But before I put that on, I guess what I should do is, is get the bottles out of the dishwasher, which is pretty convenient since, oh, lots of bottles. Anyway, if you're concerned about washing your bottles, these are PE, uh, these PET bottles are dishwasher safe. So eventually we'll have 30 bottles ready to go. Um, I'm going to put the carbonation drops in before we fill them up. At least that's what I do. Uh, you can put them in afterwards or before. I think before makes it easier than the fill line is better. We have carbonation drops. Um, Maybe you want to show it closer? Yeah. Cooper's carbonation drops. With these um, bottles, uh, you use two drops per bottle. You just drop them in. Uh, we might as well get this uh, ready to go now. Two per bottle. That one comes conveniently. Two ready to go. But it's really quite an easy process. I mean, in the old days when I did home brewing, it seemed like washing the bottles, you, you I used bleach and it took forever. Then you had to rinse it out. Uh, you're, by the time you're, you were done with it, you had dish, you know, dish pan hands. And, uh, bottling took about two hours as, as far as this goes. I mean, sure, it takes time, but you're probably looking at maybe at most uh, 45 minutes after cleanup. We'll, we'll let you know after this is done. Let's see, it's quarter to three now. Um, probably the hardest part is just waiting for all the liquid to go through the uh, fermenter. Um, I'm going to take one of these. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that should be uh, sanitized. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a spigot. Remove this over today. Pop that in real secure. And probably the best bet is to lay some towels down here just in case. Sometimes the, the uh, bottle filler will drip. And this is the easy part, really. Um, like I said, but you got to turn on the spigot first. I mean, what more? You know, so it's probably good to let out a little air through the passage. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Side to side. Um, I forgot to do a hydrometer reading, but we brewed this about 17 days ago. It should be ready to go. So turn the spigot to the right so it's ready to flow through. And then just pop the bottle into the into the wand like this. And make sure it's fully turned on. Right. There it goes, it's filling up. Okay, once that's filled up, you put the cap on, just like this. Shake it a couple times, turn it upside down so it activates the yeast. And set it aside. Go to the next bottle. It's not rocket science, folks. Real easy. Let's see, this batch of beer on makebeer.net cost well, I used two, can two packages of the Cooper's Light Dry Malt and one of the uh, Australian Bitter Premium Selection Series. So it probably runs you, this, that's a little more expensive than the Australian Bitter Package. It probably would run you about $33, $34. Uh, but if you break that out per 12 ounce bottle, it's about 50 cents per bottle. And if you're going to buy a, probably a comparable you know, international style beer like that at the grocery store. I'd say you're paying probably eight dollars a six pack after the tax or after the government is done with it. Bottles and at the end of the fermenter, you get close and oh, it starts making funny noises. And this is where sometimes you let a lot of that sediment in, which is. So you can pass this bottle on to your friends when they uh, come by and beg you for your fantastic home brew. Um, that's spectacular. Let me count, make sure. Now, 30, okay, there we are. 
So, this is cause for celebration, and because we happen to have a Cooper's Law over here, we're going to pour one so you can see how well the Cooper's Lager looks after it's fermented in the bottle and created its natural carbonation. And listen to this sound. This is glorious. Ah. The original series Cooper's Lager, made by Michael and Barney. So, of course, some people pour it differently. A little gentle pour at first, and achieve the nice little extra at the end. Probably put a little more on that one, but a nice clear pouring beer. Let's try this one a little more aggressively. Ah, the splash. Look at that. Nice frothy head on that one. That looks perfect. What do you think? Should we take a sip? Cheers. I think we should. Hey, you want the nice one? Yes, I do. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers my good good job. Well Thank done. Mmm. Ah, nothing like a nice cold beer after a hard day's work. You might still at work. <laughs> <laughs> now all we gotta do is clean the fermenter and we're ready to go. Just stick it in the bathtub, rinse it out. A little cleaner and you're ready to go. Cheers!